Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com. Bring you another tying video this week, and uh, this week it's a bugger pattern. I haven't shared one in a while, and uh, I actually was fishing that on a recent guide trip recently, and uh, did pretty well with it, in the mornings especially. Um, it just worked for me, and don't ask me why, the fish were chasing them and hitting them good that day, and I'm not going to complain. But um, I was fishing a pink or peach colored one i do well on it whenever i have trouble catching fish you know if they're tight tight lipped and not wanting to work a lot of times that's one of the patterns i'll put on is a little peach bugger and um, this is just one that i've been seeing around recently seeing posts of and thought i had to try it and uh and it works great so i'm not going to talk a lot here in the beginning i just want to get into tying it but tie this in different colors experiment around you're going to see me uh, I'm going to start out with one color in the vise and then tie it in, the, in a pink color. So have fun tying, guys. That's what it's all about. Here you're going to see a picture of the fly and then the material list to tie it. All right, here you see the skinny bugger in the vise. Uh, this one's in an olive color. I'm gonna tie it in a pink in the video. So let's get started. For a hook, I'm using a Firehole 523. It is a long shank jig hook, which I like to use jig hooks. And um, I just like this hook a lot. The bead I'm using is a 3.8 millimeter slotted tungsten bead from Nature Spirit. And for thread, I'm using 140 denier pink thread. So I'm using a little bit bigger bead, but it all kind of evens out in the end. It's proportionate to the woolly burger we're tying. So we're going to wrap our thread back towards the back. And the next thing I'm going to put on is some marabou. And the color of this marabou is coral. It's a pink color. So it looks really great here when I'm done. And we're just going to Put that on there and I want the tail to be, well since this is an extended shank hook, about the length of the hook. I like a little bit longer on my tail, but not real long on these, on these buggers because I want some action in the water. So I don't mind if it's a hair, hair long, but I don't want it to be overly long. So wrap that on there and I like to cover the whole shank with the marabou just to build up a little bit of body. I don't want it real thick, but I do want a little bit of body there. Next thing we're gonna put on is some crystal flash. And I'm using some pink crystal flash, use pearl, whatever color you have handy. Don't worry about that, don't get picky. And I'm just gonna set that on the side, the length of that marabou, and tie it down on the side closest to you guys first. And then I'll bring it around and tie it down on, bring the same piece around, tie it down on the other side. So I have it going down both sides. Just two pieces of it, just to give just a touch of flash. Trim it off the length of the marabou. Next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of ultra wire. This is red sized brassy. And I'm just going to tie it on the side here. Get my wire out of the way and then we're going to put the tinsel for the tinsel i'm using pearl tinsel this is flat um, large size and again just wrap it on and wrap it back right back there to that tail and then i just want to smooth out my thread and get everything evenly covered because it will show through if you don't have it evenly covered with your with your thread that will show through this tinsel and then we're going to wrap this tinsel forward. Nice side by side wraps, making sure we cover the whole body here. And wrap it right up behind that bead. A couple wraps to tie it off and trim that off. Now, what I want to use next is actually a piece 
this is actually a piece of dry fly hackle, a, a saddle feather. Um, the color is dark or dark bar ginger, but don't worry so much about the color. Use a brown or a grizzly will work just fine too. I'm going to peel just a couple fibers off of the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down there right by that the slot of the bead. If it pops in there, that's fine. If it doesn't, that's fine also. But make a couple wraps there to lock it in place. And then I want to make one wrap over my thread. And then I'm going to make nice side-by-side -side wraps the whole way back this body. Just make it nice and even wrap so it looks good. There we go. Now we're going to come in with our wire. And I'm going to wrap the opposite way with my wire. And I'm going to trap those hackle fibers down. So wiggle it around a little bit as you go through them. It separates them. And just wrap your way forward. Try not to trap too many fibers. You're going to because there's a lot of fibers there. That's fine. But wrap it right up behind that bead. About three wraps. Pop your wire off and then do your whip finish. And trim our thread and then we're going to come back here and trim this hackle feather out of there. And that is all that is to our skinny bugger. Really simple bugger pattern to tie and nice and thin. I really like this color. I've been fishing pink here. Uh, actually, this weekend on a guide trip, we've been fishing with the pink colors, and they did really well here in the fall. So give this one a try, guys. I'm sure you're going to like it. All right, guys. I hope you like the skinny bugger. It's a fun little fly to tie. It's not hard to tie. And um, it catches fish. So tie it in blacks, greens, uh, purples. You could tie it in but make sure you tie it in a pink or a peach color like that. Uh, for some reason, that color works for me. I don't know why, but I love using pink, pink buggers. They just catch fish. Uh, have fun tying. If you need any of the materials for this, we can we'll be more than willing to help you out at wholesingersflyshop.com. Uh, we have all the materials listed here. And uh, if you have any questions, like always, drop them down in the comments or shoot me a question or if you would like me to tie these for you, you know, if you're not really a tire and you want a custom order done, shoot me an email at wholesingersflyshop at gmail.com. That's what I do during the day. I'm tying, dad's running the shop and uh, tying and bringing these videos to you. So like I said, guys, reach out to me if you need anything. And if not, I'll see you next week when I bring you another video. I'm Sean Holsinger.